What's up guys, Hainsy here. We're back for another video today. As you guys know, I went to a lot of different stadiums in 2023. Went to 14 different NRL stadiums in 2023. So let's rank them from worst to best. Hope you guys enjoy. In last place, it's Shark Park. Absolute shit tip, construction site. So bad viewing, one of the worst. In 13th, I've got Cogra. Look, it's not a bad ground, but it was a disappointing night there. I went there. It was a shit atmosphere. Only 8,000 rocked up for a Friday, 6 p.m. And yeah, they were pretty quiet until that last try from um, the Dragons. But yeah, it's still pretty poor atmosphere. SCG comes in at 12. And yeah, look, although I love the SCG for its history, but it's not a rugby league ground. You're so far away from the action. And yeah, hated it. Coming in next was the Gabba. You know what? It actually surprised me. It wasn't too bad. I mean, it's still not a rugby league ground, but yeah, not too bad. Coming in next is Leichhardt Oval. Love Leichhardt. It's a great ground, great atmosphere that night when they pumped the Cowboys by 60. But yeah, it's still there's still plenty of others better. Moving on now to McDonald Jones Stadium in Newcastle. One of my favourite away days going to Newcastle. It's a great ground, great atmosphere. Saturday, 3 p.m. kickoff. I mean, it was a little bit quiet, but it was still pretty good ground. I love McDonald Jones Stadium. Can't wait to go back there next year. But yeah, it's definitely one up there. It was one of the best grounds in the country. And they had the best atmosphere, but there was a lot better on this list in 2023. Next up was Belmore, and what a special day that was. I didn't vlog it, but it was a great day. Josh Reynolds' final game in the Bulldogs' colours. Great atmosphere, great crowd as always. Yeah, definitely up there. Moving on now to the Central Coast Stadium, and this was one of my favourite trips of the year, going to the Central Coast. It was a great game, great atmosphere, 18,000. Great day, and they need more games there. Moving on next to Seabus Super Stadium, one of the most underrated grounds in the country. I absolutely love Seabus. One tier, great noise. Great viewing, great seating, and just a great day out at Seabar Super Stadium every time I go there. Yeah, one of the best grounds. Moving on to a core stadium, I know I get a lot of hate because it's always empty, but the games I went to this year, I mean, it helps that it was the grand final and Bruce's South, but it was still great viewing, great atmosphere. I, I don't know why everyone gets a lot of hate to a core stadium. It's actually one of the best grounds. I love it. Moving next to Amy Park in Melbourne, very underrated ground as well, similar to Seabus uh, Super Stadium, great ground, good viewing, yeah. In third place, we've got Suncorp Stadium now, one of the best grounds, great, best rectangular stadium in the country, although I hate it, it's still a great ground. Moving in next to the Combank Stadium, one of my favourite grounds, it's in second place for a reason, great atmosphere, you're right on top of the action, even in the top tier, you're so high up, see everything from the top here it's such a great ground great atmosphere nice and loud every time you're in there and they're one of the best stadiums in the country for a reason moving on now to the first place i know people think i'm biased but it is only on stadium and yeah no look, it's the best stadium in the country i don't care what anyone says i know a lot of people will say the same same thing as well great atmosphere right on top of the action like combank it, it's such a beautiful ground yeah, it, it, it is the best stadium in Sydney and definitely the best stadium in the country in my opinion. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There is my list of the best stadiums I attended in 2023. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what stadium do you have as number one and what changes you would make. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, guys. We hit 1,500 subscribers in the past week. So thank you so much for your support. I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.